so I had totally messed up had a bit of a brain fog moment with my ribbon and my ribbon as one said it's more like a a uh, tie with a big X in the middle instead of looking like a ribbon with an overlapping ribbon pieces so we're gonna fix that it's actually it's really easy to do before you sat and stitch it probably a little easier but I'm this is this makes for a good moment to show you how to use the ink stitch tool for cutting a satin stitch uh, satin yeah cutting satin stitch yeah so getting getting myself confused so we're gonna go in here and I want to cut here and here here and here so the way we do that we're going to push control and select that particular line it happens to be path 1036 not real important that you remember that but show you one thing here but go to extensions ink stitch you have to do a command attach command in order to use a satin cut satin cut satin column you got to specify where it's cutting at and you do that by attaching command i'm going to turn off trim thread and i'm going to turn on satin cut point hit apply hit close so now i have a little satin cut tool here and i'm going to aim that satin cut tool the little the little barb on that satin cut tool i'm going to aim it where i want it to cut which is right about there somewhere there so when i grab that you'll notice that in my objects layer that my path 1036 is no longer highlighted i highlighted the satin cut point in order to move it the only reason this is important is because i, I need to emphasize that you remember to re-highlight the actual satin column that you're cutting and I'll show you real quick, real quick, it's, it's not a bad thing, but if you forget to re-highlight it and you hit cut satin column, it basically says, I have no idea what you're talking about. So we're going to re-highlight our path 1036. And then we can go into ink stitch and satin tools, cut satin column. You'll notice that the object layer for this cut satin tool went away i now have an extra layer in here which is these two were separated into their own pieces so i have a cut point right here now i'm going to highlight the rest of this end because i want to put one right here so i'm going to extensions commands attach command satin cut point which is going to make another little tool and it's just about where I want it to be so bring it down a little bit reselect that satin line satin rail and then go back into ink stitch satin tools cut satin column and just like that now we have three separate columns satin columns where we only had one before the one that's highlighted is right now the one I want to delete so I'm just gonna push delete I'm going to edge these back away from the edge a little bit. I'm actually going to pull that one up a little bit. Okay. Now, I want to do the same thing with this one right here and right here. So go back to my pointer tool, hit control, click to highlight just that one path, which is 1883. Hit extensions, ink stitch commands, attach command, satin cut point, hit apply. There's my satin tool, cut tool. I need to come out a little bit to see it. Bring that down. And then we can zoom in to get a closer look. And 
reselect our satin rail to cut extensions ink stitch satin tools cut satin column the one that's highlighted now is the one i want so i'm going to do it again ink stitch commands attach command cut satin cut point hit close drag that down to where we want to cut and reselect that satin rail extensions ink stitch satin tools cut satin column so now we have two separate columns again i'm going to control click to select just that one i'm going to hit delete i want it gone and it's gone control select to select that one hit my nodes tool i'm going to drag this down just a hair same thing with this one i'm going to drag this one back just a hair so now that we've been playing around with rungs and rails we really should do a troubleshoot just to be on the safe side pretty sure all our i's are dotted and t's are crossed yep we're good and we're going to check that out see how it looks in a simulator realistic preview speed that up a whole bunch much better that looks much better so that is our t little overview of ink stitches cut satin rail pretty easy to use just have to remember to use the command to attach the cut point move it to where you need it re-highlight the rail that you want cut and you then you can use cut satin rail Hope you got something out of that and I fixed my ribbon. It looks a whole lot better now. Thanks for watching.